a lot more information should have gone out. The parents should have been made aware of this immediately. Tempers flared after three local schools were locked down because of a potential threat in East El Paso County this morning. Some students inside the schools shared images of the tense situation on social media. There was also this footage from FitFam showing deputies clearing classrooms as students raised their hands to comply with deputies' orders. The lockdowns have all since been lifted and authorities say they took four people into custody. CBS 4 at 530's Julia Spencer is live in Montana Vista where she spoke with parents following the campus lockdowns. The well, students are back with their family tonight after having to wait hours during a lockdown, which was prompted after reports of a person walking onto Mountain View High School's campus with a weapon. And during the situation, parents told me that each second felt like an hour and the longer they waited, the more tense it became. Right now, there's no injuries. There's no injuries. Right now, no information as of right now. Hey, let me get my kid and we all leave. We all go home. Yeah, let me get my kid and I'll go get him. I don't want to get him. Let us do our job. Okay, let us do our job. Emotions grew tense as parents were worried about the safety of their children. After a situation prompted a lockdown at Mountain View High School, East Montana Middle, and Montana Vista Elementary. This morning we received notification of an individual with a weapon. They did attain, detain an individual. El Paso Sheriff, Constable, SWAT team, and ambulances all responded to the scene. This video posted via FitFam shows the Sheriff's Department going into classrooms with guns drawn, making sure there was no threat. Students and faculty raising their hands after deputies entered each classroom, breaking down makeshift barriers at the door. Parents waited outside of the school, many of them growing impatient. They say the school district lacked proper communication. My son is in, is in there and that their, the administrators are being told, tell the children it's a drill. This is not a drill. Look at this police presence. This is not a drill. They didn't really communicate anything with us. They but the superintendent of Clint ISD says otherwise. One thing that I want to make clear is that we will always be transparent to our parents. A few hours, parents were reunited with their kids. Many of them say they're frustrated these kind of things are happening at school. This is happening more and more, and this, this should not happen. I think I'm just tired of all of the weapons with school and school shootings. I think they definitely need to change the laws in El Paso, Texas, or Texas in general. It's a slap on the wrist for these guys. That's why they keep doing it. Now, the El Paso County Sheriff's Department hasn't confirmed any of the identities of the four people in, a, in custody right now or what kind of weapon was used on this campus. Once we have that information, we'll be sure to update you both on air and online at cbs4local.com. I'm reporting live from Afari, El Paso, Julia Spencer, CBS4 at 530.